Now they got to fake that smile every morning. <laughs> this is so funny. This ain't funny. This is garbage. I wipe my ass with half this shit. I went to see Mission Impossible, whatever, the other day. I don't even know what the movie was about. It was fucking garbage. It was fucking garbage. Yeah. Did you see what this fucking guy said two weeks ago? That cinema is the worst it's been in 50 years. And it really is. Yeah. It really is. When you go to a movie now, you walk out the movie. You don't even know what the movie's about. You're like, this is horrible. This is horrible. We get, we get it fed to us. But after you leave there, you're like, what did I just see? I don't remember a movie I saw the last two years. Not a fucking movie. Including Grudge Match. A Ex Machina was good. That was really good. Ex Machina. Somebody else that told was me good. that. It's like a Twilight that. Zone. It's not a happy ending. <laughs> yeah, I like movies that... Uh, I don't like comic book movies and shit like that. I ain't gonna go see no Avengers. I'm sorry about, about that. I you know, think... Most, most of your fans probably like that stuff. I, I, no, I can't no, no. fuck with no, 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 because they know. I don't believe that. The last one was so terrible. The the last all the, listen, Ant Man, Scrump Man. If you're over eight and you go to the movies to see that, do me a favor. <laughs> go to Kmart, get the gun, and shoot yourself in the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> because I just can't tolerate it no more. Then you when you realize why you got problems in your life and why you're a jerk off. And why you hanging? Why your friends are jerk offs? Because think of what you're going to see. <laughs> think of the thought you have in your mind. That even going down there, even fucking going down there. The first five of those movies was cute. The first Iron Man, cute. After that, stop. Stop. <laughs> Batman was cute. Now they're coming up with heroes you never even fucking heard of. You never even heard of fucking Ant Man. I'm 50 years old. I don't know. What is the fucking Silver Surfer movie? Where's the black guy shooting people on a fucking skateboard? That's the movie I want to see. Fucking Ant-Man. And, and then they, they get superheroes that they, these guys couldn't break an egg. They couldn't protect themselves. They, they, they couldn't fucking protect themselves, man. The, if you're going to sell me something, when I watched Stone Killer with Charles Bronson, I knew Charles Bronson could shoot you in the fucking head. When I see fucking Clint Eastwood, I know that on a good day, Clint Eastwood will shoot you in the head. I know Burt Reynolds will shoot you in the fucking head if given the opportunity. That guy was out of his fucking mind. Yeah, I was telling Lee, Jerry, Jemmer, Jeremy Remmer. Jeremy Remmer got an Oscar. For what? I was going to ask you. For Hurt Locker. No. He's not Oscar material. He's not Oscar material. There's no fucking way. We don't even have Oscar material type people no more. They're just fucking holograms. When I was growing up, you had fucking actors. James Franciscus. He played a blind guy on Channel 7 named Marlo. Bruce Lee was his kung fu teacher. You know that? A lot of people don't know that he was on. No, that, that was uh, James Franciscus was in a different show. Marlo was the movie with James Gardner. I'm sorry. I like him. He's, he's funny, but I don't get the Chris Pratt thing, to be honest. No, me neither. Half of them. Half of them. He was on Parks and Rec as like a chubby dude. I, he's a good actor, but I don't like, as an action hero, I don't get it. I don't get half this shit no more, dog. That's why I go to jiu-jitsu and smell balls and feet. Because, <laughs> you know, at this point in the fucking game, I mean, I just can't believe it that this is what's going on. And I love movies, guys. I grew up on movies. I'm fucking an immigrant. You know, you dream. When you're an immigrant, you watch movies and fucking dream, man. That's your escape when you're an immigrant. You know, they can't call your names. You know, it's no pressure going to a movie when you're a fucking immigrant. You don't know the fucking language. You know, that's what part of being a, an American is. When people come over here, what's the first thing they talk to you about? People from other countries. They talk to you about American culture that they've learned through watching our films. That's what highlights our fucking country, guy. You know, when you're a fucking Cuban and you have nothing and all of a sudden you're living in Cuba and somebody slips in death fucking uh, death wish. He was a vigilante. I was thinking about how slow-paced Death Wish is. But he's a vigilante. Before that movie, I didn't know what a vigilante word was. When I left him, I fucking knew a new word. I learned a new word from a movie. <laughs> I went into fucking fifth grade and said, the word is vigilante. <laughs> Bust that motherfucker. It always pisses me off how... Well, this doesn't, doesn't piss me off. I find it interesting that on TV shows, especially TV shows, like, I don't know, there's... New pilots every year per studio. I don't know. Let's just say ten. Hundred and thirty. Okay, how many make it? Like ten. Legitimately, they're looking for the four. So yeah, so they're looking for four, and then out of that, how many shows only make it one year? A bunch. Or like only a couple make it to two, three, four seasons, and the actors always get shit on, or the writing, or the the the, the star. But from what I've heard and from what I've seen in Hollywood, the uh, the one of the what is the word the producers and and the and the studio people executives they get to stay but they had all that input but they don't get in trouble for a show failing 
which is kind of well, weird. Well, they just keep rotating them. They just keep rotating these acts. Listen, I, I was looking at the 70s show. The 70s show comes on after Peppa Pig <laughs> on fucking uh, whatever. And I was watching the 70s show. When you see the 70s show, it came out in 98, the episode I was watching. It was 1998. You look at a show like that. What, how many shows got put out that year? That was just the perfect show at the perfect time with the perfect fucking cast. And I'm thinking that going, that's the time to get into television because you know what? You always have a job the rest of your life, no matter what happens. You, you just go from show to show to show to show to show, and they'll fail, they'll pick up. Who did they just give a new show to? He's a grandpa, he finds the kid, he just got a fucking DUI in Beverly Hills. They gave oh, him a really? show. Yeah, grandfathered. Oh, yeah. What the fuck what is the his fuck name? Is the full name? house dude, right? Yeah, nice guy. I'm okay, not saying handsome, nothing bad about Bob him. Saget? No, no there's a partner, dude. the handsome dude. John Stamos. John yeah. Stamos. You know, they, they give you shows, and these are people that have been on TV. When you have a, especially when you have a good, like, like what's his name? Bob Saget will be on TV the rest of his life. He had a successful show. He had two successful fucking shows. That's a TV family. They'll use you for, to host anything. You're better than me. You're better than Eddie. You're better than you and Lee. Not because he's better than us. But because it's a recognizable face. Guys. You know who just got the hosting gig on my old show, of America's Funniest? The Carlton from Fresh Prince is going to host that now. Which one? The America's yeah. Funniest on Video. And he hasn't worked in 20 fucking years. I know. He spent, you know what I'm saying? So once you're in TV at a young age, you'll always work on TV if you stay active and if you stay on top of your agent. If you're on a hit show, you got to let it breathe for six or seven years. You know, and that's when you do short films and you produce stupid shit. You do YouTube videos and you do a podcast and you keep that fan base. That fan base that you acquired on the show, you know. What the fuck are we talking about? This is why I hate eating edibles. <laughs> 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 I hate eating edibles, liars. 